They say that an 18 year old, their brain isn't developed enough to be able to, you know, have a weapon, own a firearm. But a five year old, yeah, completely old enough and mature enough to be able to choose their own gender. Welcome to Zero Day Chronicles. This is chapter 1B. In this part of the Zero Day Chronicles, we will touch on mind control and how these mass shootings are doing their job on the American people and in the world. We will touch on how the Drago or Dragon Brotherhood uses mass media to shape the world, brainwashing it and preparing the mind for the following fabricated events, which we see in their programming, which is called predictive programming. Now, I just want to give you a little insight on what Zero Day movie is all about. And then, uh, I think maybe in chapter 2A, we're going to start off with what Zero Day actually mean. And people, it's going to make sense as we build. All right? So, Zero Day, the actual movie, came out in 2003, as well as Elephant. We acted alone. We obtained the weapons alone. And nobody knew that we were going to do this. Our, our, our parents had nothing to do with this, and so everybody knows they didn't know anything about it. I mean, when our parents find these tapes, I mean, what are they going to think? Oh my God, I was asleep upstairs while they were in the basement recording this. We could have known. We could have stopped them. No. Um, no. Essentially, what you're trying to do is you're trying to get people to buy into a solution before they see where it's ultimately going to go. Because you're talking about a transaction system that is no longer a currency, it's a control system. So it's like a credit at the company store if every central bank comes out with a digital central bank currency, they have the ability to turn your money on and off. So if you don't behave, 